Now that this is open, we expect uh, half a million users a year along this trail. So it's going to be immensely popular. It's going to be a destination regional trail. Seeing it be built and being constructed was tremendously rewarding. And I have to say that engineering really is a creative art as well as a science. Uh, Toby and his crew faced tremendous logistical challenges throughout the project. And uh, it was really neat how they kept on coming up with creative solutions. It was a double-edged sword. The, the, the best part was being able to find solutions to, to take that line on a page and make it something real in terms of design. But under the timeline that we were under, it was stressful because there were days when we didn't know where the trail was going to go. The one moment that sticks in my brain right now was coming up with with compensatory storage. And we were running into issues with right away, we were running issues issues with not enough upland area, so area that wouldn't necessarily be in the floodplain that we'd have to pull in. And I remember sitting at the grad engineer's desk who was doing the CAD work, and we're just clicking through and clicking through, where can we find this extra volume? Where can we find it? Where can we find it? And we ended up finding it with just some grading changes that had happened on the project. So we thought for sure we were gonna have to ask for a variance on that. You know what really makes part of this trail unique is the boardwalk aspect all along the creek and through major wetland complexes. Uh, two miles of boardwalk and they had to be built over the 100 year flood plain. So, so they seem high unless it's raining and then, they, and then you're glad that they're high. Um, but it, it provides vistas of these magnificent wetland complexes that otherwise you just never really see. I mean you're out in the middle of it and I've been on this trail I've seen white egrets, I've seen blue herons, it's just amazing the wildlife that you get to see by getting out into the middle of a wetland. The, the challenge with the boardwalks is a lot of the, the creek, you know, Nine Mile Creek that runs through Edina, sometimes is sandwiched between houses on both sides of the creek. Also a challenge just to try and figure out how are we going to build this? How, how is a contractor going to get back in here and be able to, to get all their equipment and all the materials that they need to be able to build these, these structures? These structures are um, 13 feet wide clear when you ride your bike or, or walk on them, so they're wide enough for two-way traffic. Uh, a lot of components that make up the, the structure itself, they're actually bridge rated so you can drive vehicles on them. So the, the timber that is used is, is really uh, heavy duty and had to be shipped here from Oregon actually on train. So th there were train loads of timber that came to Edina, Minnesota to build these boardwalks. Just to touch on the, the trail again and being within a developed city, an inner ring suburb city, it, it, the, as we mentioned, the challenges that come with that. It's a fully developed city and we're trying to shoehorn in a regional trail that both parallels the creek for a lot of it, approximately two miles, but then we're also trying to overcome barriers. Highways, uh, local streets, we have a box culvert under a local street to, to eliminate that barrier. We have the boardwalks and all the agency coordination that goes into having all those different jurisdictions. One other thing that people often don't realize when you're building a regional trail is you're also building uh, a regional bike superhighway. These are the arterial routes for the entire region. We have 160 miles of this regional trail network and we're seeing a tremendous amount of use on all of our trails for uh, commuting. I think the most satisfying thing is just seeing smiles on people's faces as they're traveling along the trail. Somebody bringing their kids out uh, in a wagon, pulling their kids by in a wagon. Uh, at one point I saw uh, a young lady in a wheelchair going over Highway 100 on the bridge. And she never would have had that opportunity had we not done the work that we did and ultimately made, uh, made something better than it was when we left it. So for me, that's the, the saddest, most satisfying part of the project.